the goal for tomorrow is Lex and I want to work together and just go crazy. Like, I mean, the thing is, is like, it's going to be hot and it's going to be dry and it's going to be fun. Like, we're going to go out there and we're going to push. We want to go out really fast because if you're going to run a good time on this course, you have to go out fast. We're gonna try to really push that second mile when it really, really hurts and just hope for the best and just haul that last mile. I don't really have, know what you think about time just cause it's like, I feel like with this course, there's just so many factors that play into it, but it's gonna be a lot of fun and I think we're both really ready to run a really good race. And it's definitely gonna be a t teamwork between Lux and I. I think that's the big key factor is we're ready to work together. And now it is our pleasure to introduce to you the top runners in the state of California and from neighboring states. We'd like to start with the individuals who are racing today without their teams. Running a senior from Cameron, Camden Central High School in Tennessee to run 9-12, the Tennessee champ in track. This is Camden Douglas. Senior from Albany High School, he's run nine flat for 3,200 on the track. Sean Morello, sophomore from Sonora, 1417 at Woodbridge this year, Braun Holman. Senior from Long Beach Poly, the SoCal Invitational Champion, Cameron Roan. Junior from Clovis East, the DeWitt Invitational Champion, Carter Spradling. Senior from Highland, he was the Cool Breeze Sweepstakes Champion, Matthew Donis. Senior from West Ranch, Billy Isa. And a junior from Milligan, 1356 at Woodbridge. He's run 854 on the track. That's Jason Parra. And now our full teams racing today. Division two school from the Southern Section, ranked 10th in the state, fourth in the state meet last year, Ayala. Division three school from the Southern Section, ranked fourth in the state. They were seventh in the state meet last year, Dana Hills. Division two school from the Southern Section, runner ups this year at the Moore Park Invitational, Royal. Division one school from North Coast, they were the Division I North Coast Champions last year, Doherty Valley. A Division V school from the Central Coast section, ranked number one in the state in that division, the Menlo School. Division I school from the Sac Joaquin section, fifth in this meet last, or fifth in the state last year, Jesuit. Division II school from the North Coast, ranked eighth in the state, tenth in the state meet last year, Monta Vista. Division one school from the Southern Section, ranked number two in the state. They're the Moore Park Invitational, the Mount Carmel Invitational Champions, Crescenta Valley. Division two school from the Southern Section, 11th in the state meet last year, Hart. Division one school out of Sac Joaquin, 10th in the state meet last year, Davis. Division two school from the Central Coast, Ninth in the state this year, Palo Alto. Division two school from the Southern Section, Saugus. Division one school out of the Central Section, the Rudolph Invitational Champions and Kingberg Invitational Champions this year, Buchanan. Division two school from the North Coast, ranked fifth in the state, 11th in the state meet last year, Redwood. Division one school, Central Section. They were the Central Section champions last year, Madera South. Division two school from the Southern Section, ranked sixth in the state, Tesoro. Division one school out of the Southern Section, ranked 10th in the state, Santiago. Division one school out of the Southern Section. They won the Ioloni Invitational, the Dana Hills Invitational. Fourth in the state meet last year, San Clemente. Division two school out of the Southern Section. Eighth in the state last year, Ventura. Division one school from the Central Section, Clovis. Division one school out of the Southern Section. They have won this Clovis Invitational six times. Second in the state last year, Great Oak. Division two school from the North Coast. Ranked second in the state in Division two. Runner up last year in Division two, Granada. Division one school out of the Central Section. The 2021 Division two California State Champions, San Luis Obispo. 
And Division II school out of the Southern Section. The Division I champions in this meet last year, the state meet last year. They set an all-time record here, running 73-23. That's an average of 14.41. They have the top four fastest times ever run here as a team. Ranked number one in the section, number one in the state, and number one in the nation, Newberry Park. Time to line them up, up, and we'll turn it over to the starter. We are ready for a great Rock Brenner Championship race. On your marks. Here we go, the Rob Brenner Championship race at the 43rd Annual Clovis Invitational. All right, you wanna hurry, you better get across the bridge over there because these boys will come fast to the first mile. It looks like our boys are spreading out a little bit. That's a good sign. That means we'll get a fast first half mile. Some of the top individuals, as we mentioned, Leo Young, he has the third fastest time ever run on this course. The other two is German Fernandez and Colin Salmon, as we mentioned. He ran 14.28. That's the junior class record. And then Lex Young will be the next fastest at 14.30, just two seconds back. Aaron Salmon, 14.43 in this race last year. So Colin Salmon, as we mentioned, is the Clovis Invitational record at 29, just slightly better than his teammate and Leo and Lex's older brother, Nico Young, who also ran 14.29 back in 2019. All right, through the first 800 meters in 2.14, that's Leo and Lex Young out very quickly here, taking the pace, 214. Just to keep a little track on that record, when German ran that great 1427, he was 428. That's the exact pace they are on. That was 428 at the mile. So we got Leo and Lex pushing the pace and then a big group right behind him trying to hang on as they go out well. As our boys get ready to approach the 1200 meter mark, the things that the Newberry Park boys have done last couple of years are just phenomenal. Leo on the track, he has broken four minutes for 1600 meters, 359, he's run 8.55. Now Lex has run 8.35 for 3200 on the track, 8.35. Look, he's right behind him. He's that guy. He's not black. And as we can see, that is Donis running in third from Highland, right behind the young brothers. And it looks like Para and then Aaron Salmon. See Billy Isa up there in sixth or seventh there. And as we have spread out, this is such an elite field. They're gonna come by that first mile. Remember what we said, 428 is what German Fernandez came by at the mile when he ran the 1427. They come by at 430. That would be Leo and Lex and then Donis right behind Para and Aaron Salmon and then Christopher Cadillo of Clovis, 434, Isa, Ruckman Barnes, Braden Seymour from Newberry Park, 
who was the Florida State champion last year at 1,600 meters, he has moved out to California, and he is on that Newberry Park team. Parker Simmons of Crescenta Valley, Cameron Roan of Long Beach Poly, Ryan Mitchell of Davis. These are all boys who have been winning meets up and down the state over the last couple weeks, and they are out quickly. Obviously, with that team score, Newberry Park is well out in front, but Great Oak right there in second. We look like Newberry Park in about the mid-20 range. Great Oak right around 110, and then Granada. Granada about 130, San Clemente and Crescenta Valley. Those five seem to have separated at the first mile. Newberry Park is a Division II team this year. Great Oak is Division I. Now Granada is Division II. San Clemente and Crescenta Valley, Division I. So this will be interesting to start spreading out for the state meet. The two Division II teams, Newberry Park and Granada. The three Division I teams, Great Oak, San Clemente and Crescenta Valley. And then Santiago Clovis, they are all Division I teams. Team boys there under 440 at that first mile. And Deb Doshi was the fifth man for Newberry Park at 441. All right, the record, 1427, halfway through, 712. You do the math. All right, Leo and Lexion still lean. Looks like Aaron Solman has joined them. And Christopher Cadillo of Clovis, he has moved up into that group right there with him. And approaching the 3K mark now, we'll get a split from here. Getting ready to hit up Killer Hill. It's Leo and Lex Young and Aaron Salmon. Newberry Park going one, two, three. Christopher Cadillo of Clovis, the state champion last year at 1600 on the track. Running right there. He's running 845 for 3200. And Billy Isa moving up. He's run 902, the Southern Section Division II champion on the track from West Ranch. He's in the top five.
And the golf cart looks to be going faster than we've ever seen it, just to try to stay ahead. And there we go. It looks like Leo followed by Lex, and then a little bit of a gap. Looks to be about 30 or 40 meters to Aaron Salmon, but Newberry Park, as we get used to saying the last couple of years, one, two, three. And they have a big gap. Looks like Cadillo in four, Isa in five, Donis of Highland in six. Just about 10 yards behind Isa. And we're 1,200 meters to go. It's still our big three. Leo, Lex, and Aram, and Cadillo, and Isa, and then Ruckerman Barnes of Granada moving up well. Seymour of Newberry Park. He is running, is their fourth man, running in ninth place. And we got ourselves. And obviously Newberry Park out front is a team, but in this battle we keep mentioning of Division I state powerhouses, San Clemente and Great Oak locked virtually in a dead heat. They're separated by four points with a mile to go. Granada just three points behind them. So Newberry Park out front, then San Clemente, Great Oak, Granada, and then a little bit of a gap to San Luis Obispo. So we will have a clear Division I favorite at the end of this race today as San Clemente and Great Oak battle out. Crescenta Valley was in fifth at the 2.1. San Luis Obispo in sixth. Clovis in seventh and Santiago in eighth. 12.35 with a half mile to go, 12.35. Oh, get your spot along the fence. You're going to want to see it. Here they come. Not just one of the best cross-country teams in the country. Not just one of the best teams that we've seen in the years. This is one of the best high school teams in any sport at any time. Maybe the best high school team. And they are running like it again today. Looks like we're coming into view here. We're at 13.45. And on to the road, here we go. Oh my, really one of the great races in the country this year. You folks stand there, let them hear from you. This is truly one of the best races ever run here. Maybe a bit shy of the course record, but we are certainly gonna be well under 15. And here he comes, Leo Young. Lex right behind him, down, coming down the stretch. Leo Young of Newberry Park, powering home. Leo Young is going to be our winner, and he's going to be just shy of that record. 24-25. Oh, my. Lex Young, 431. That is the Clovis Invitational record and the second fastest time, and here comes their third man. This is Aaron Salmon. He is a 148 half miler, and he looks like it right here. Aaron Salmon, what a great finish. He's gonna be under 15. Cadillo and Isa. And Mitchell of Davis finishing strong. Cadillo, Mitchell, Isa, Skopinski, 
Chantaka of San, of San Clemente. Donner's leading that big group through here. And that whole group right there, 15-16. Oh, my. This is Doshi finishing here, trying to get through it. Seymour will give Newberry Park. What a great effort from Doshi, giving his team that spot. San Clemente finishing. They're in the maroon and white. We'll keep watching for that. Ah, maybe next time. Great Oak wearing the white shirts that say Wolfpack. And look at that, four boys right together. And all four of those boys ahead of San Clemente's three. This is Great Oaks five and six. So in the classic battle of all five runners, looks like San Clemente a bit up foot. Great Oak with a bit of the depth. And everybody finishing strong. Uh, it's interesting. I feel pretty crappy, but I'm also thrilled, but I'm also sad. So I don't know. It's a huge mix, but I'm just happy to be back in the game. I calculated it. It's been something like 183 days since Arcadia since I ran when I was sick. And now I'm feeling great, so I'm going to run a whole lot more. It's gonna be good. Newberry Park, obviously, as our winner as a team, but San Clemente and Great Oak. Very close, and Granada, with an excellent last mile, has put themselves into that conversation. But right now, it looks like San Clemente will take over our spot in all the rankings as the top team in Division One. Great Oak, though, right there, Granada. And Crescenta Valley moves up well in that last mile to be right in it with Granada. Thoughts after the race, like, it was just like, wow, that was really fun. I had a good time, you know. Pushing that last mile was really, really fun. Um, Lux and I were working together. We switched off so many times throughout the race. I thought that was that was awesome. At least position-wise, yeah, that's what we wanted. We wanted to take it out from the front and finish the two of us. Uh, I think timing-wise, it was a little slower than we wanted, but it was still within the realm of possibility, you know? Any given day, you go out there knowing that you can time between a certain range and depending on how you feel. I And uh, even if you feel bad, you know you gotta hold yourself to that. And I was feeling pretty, I was hurting real bad that last mile, I'm gonna be honest, but I made sure that I still stayed strong and I still did what I came out here to do. And knowing this course is so incredibly important to getting a good time. And this course is all about like knowing when to push, knowing when to apply yourself and just knowing that like it's a challenge. And there's never a point where you're just in a rhythm cruising. It's always about that next little bit and actively focusing on it and if you can reflect on your race today reflect on the points that were the hardest and then just completely apply that to the next day and this can even go for any other course that you ran if you weren't happy about your race historically I think as for Newberry Park this is always gonna like we're always entering the hardest training block now yeah it's just it's time to work you know it's all about getting back in the game and getting ready to just go crazy this season so yeah it was good it was good a Leo Young winner at 1425 Lex Young second, and then Aaron Salmon with that nice finish. He goes under 15 at 14.52. Christopher Gadillo of Clovis holds on at 15.03. Ryan Mitchell of Davis, a great last mile. He moved up three spots in that last mile to run 15.04. Billy Ice of West Ranch, 15.04. Milo Skopinski of San Luis Obispo, 15.09. Juan Chantaka, that is his all-time best. He moved up five spots at 15.11. And Grant Morgenfeld of Palo Alto, he moved up 15 spots in the last mile of that race to get ninth at 15.15. Matthew Donis, Highland of Palmdale, 15.16. He was in that big group.